Hey, hello, it's Jen. You're about to learn how to play Buttercup. Um, this one has been highly requested and let's get to it. There are only four chords that you need to know to play this song. I'm going to list them down below right now. If you already know how to play these chords, you can skip to the time code I'm going to have below right now. But if you don't know how to play these chords, there's no need to fret. I'm going to show you how to finger them. I um, also wanted to say that this is a carbon fiber ukulele and if you want to know about like any of the ukulele models that I own, I'm, I always leave them down in the description, so check that out if you want to. So the first chord you need to know is G major 7. G major 7, you're going to go onto the 2nd fret and you're going to put a finger down on the bottom string, that's an A, then the 2nd from the bottom string, that's the E, and then the finish it off with second from the top string, that's a C, so just kind of like the, the three bottom ones on the second fret, and this is what it sounds like. One of my favorite chords. Next you need to know G. G is a really basic chord, um, it's kind of a triangular shape, so start off with the second fret, put a finger down on the bottom string, that's an A, then put another finger down, I recommend your po pointer finger, um, second from the top string, the C, and then a third finger you're going to put on the third fret, second from the bottom, and it sounds like this. Cool. Um, this one, I have no idea how to correctly pronounce, but it's um, B7 sus2. <laughs> um, but you'll see it um, somewhere on this screen. And how you finger it, this one's probably going to be the most tricky version out of the four. Um, start off with the first fret, put your pointer finger down on the second from the top string, right there, and then move on to the second fret. You're going to put a finger down on the top string, that's a G, and then you're also going to put a finger down on the second from the bottom string and the bottom string. So you have those three on the second fret and then the one pointer finger on the first fret, and it sounds like this. And the last chord you need to know is an F sharp minor, and that's going to be first fret, second from the top string, pointer finger, second fret, top string, right there, and then um, second from the bottom string, create that triangular shape again, um, and it sounds like this. And there actually is an extra chord that you need to know, but you only really use it. It's the part that goes do 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 do. It's like the little part that you play in the beginning that you kind of slide. That's basically just gonna be on the ninth fret. So count that up: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, you have these little dots normally to help you out. They're like every five normally. Um, so on the ninth fret, you're gonna be doing that same G shape. So on the bottom string, and then second from the top string, and then on the tenth fret right here, the one next to it, you're gonna put your finger down on the um, second from the bottom string, and it sounds like this. But this one you only go like, if that makes sense. But we're gonna get to that later. So those are the chords you need to know. Okay, so when I start off playing this song, I actually just kind of strum um, these four chords that I showed you, um, and it kind of sounds like this I'll show you. So you start off with the G major 7, so I do G major 7, down strum, and then I did this, but you don't have to. I basically like plucked each, um, the bottom three, so I did strum. Does that make sense? So, strum, the bottom one, second on the bottom, and then you go to the next chord, then it's G, ba, 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 and then the B7, sus2, um, and then I just strummed that last one, F sharp minor. So you don't have to do that little extra bit, but that's what I did, so let's do it once more together. So you go G major 7, G, sharp minor, and then 
then that's the intro that I did. So that's basically it for that. And then I move straight into that other extra chord that I showed you. Um, you're gonna, again, all the way down to the ninth fret. And then this last finger right here that completes the triangle shape is gonna be on the 10th fret, normally where you have a little dot. Most ukulele should have that there. Um, so then you go, I kind of just, I didn't strum, I like plucked the strings like this, so my hand, I'm like plucking them up. I hope this is making sense. So I basically do that and then you slide it so it sounds like this. You hear that? So go back again. This ukulele is like, it's like slipping, but you, you slide it so it goes... Because the next word you're going to be playing is actually a G. So you have that same shape. So let's practice that together. And one, two, three. Cool. So you can practice that a little bit to get used to it. And then from there, you basically just get into the strumming pattern that I do for most of the song. Um, and it's basically just down, chuck, up, up. can't chuck um you can always switch it up and just do down, down, up, up, down. so you can always replace the chucks with the down strum um but yeah if you can chuck this is what i did i did down down chuck up, up down chuck down down chuck up, up down chuck so yeah once you have that strumming pattern down um in the verse you're playing like a g and an f sharp minor i'll make sure to have the chords down below if that's easier for you um, but you're always going to be doing the down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck. You're going to be doing that pattern twice for each chord, except for the last one. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, for example, um, let's start off from the intro again. So, do, 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 and the weird one. And then you go down, down, chuck, up, down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck, switch, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck. So you do it twice, and then you switch. Down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck. So you can either keep going and add an extra down strum at the end, or you can just end up strumming it. So let's sing it so you can hear what I'm talking about. So you let's start off from the weird one out here, from the ninth fret. 9th and 10th fret, so you go pluck, slide, and then you go to the G, and it's get it, I'll do it sometime, locked up on the bottom, can't you do it sometime, pushed it in too far, so I did down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck, extra down strum. So that last chord is always going to be a little bit different, but if you want to just make it easy for yourself, you can just do. Um, so. And then you just one down strum. Um, pushed it in too far. So hopefully this is making sense. Um, it'll be easy if you follow down with the chords and the lyrics and everything. But yeah, from there on out, um, you do the same thing for the second part of that verse. So. And then you can even add in a little bit the, remember, slide and down, 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 electrify my line, electrify my golden tooth and switch. Can't look at your eyes without sparking some. So you see, down strum. And then you do the same thing except for the chorus, you're playing um, each of the chords once, like for the strumming pattern. So you do electrify my G, down chuck up, up, down chuck, switch to G major 7, F sharp minor, and then you do it again. So again, you're only doing it once per each chord. Um, so let's make that switch. Let's do it from um, can't look at your eyes. So, and one, two, ready, go. Can't look at your eyes without sparking sun. You can just down strum that. And you go, electrify my heart. Ooh. And you can, add, you can always add an extra down strum. I tend to do 
that anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, at the end. And then, um, then you go back into the verse, and it's the exact same thing as the first verse. So um, again, you do the chords, the down, down, chuck, up, up, down, chuck twice. So let's just go through it together, and it is. And then this is the one part where the strumming pattern changes if you want to. I mean, that's how I did it anyway. And this becomes easy because then it's no chucking and you slow it down. So then it's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's like the first strumming pattern you ever learn as a ukulele player or any string instrument player. So then, then you go, that's kind of the bridge that goes. Same chords, by the way, and you're doing the strumming pattern twice again. Um, except for the last one where you can down strum. So you're starting to hear the pattern here. So then you go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, switch, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 And then you go back into the chorus with the electrify my heart. Ooh. And then again, the chorus, you're only doing the chord. Um, you're doing the strumming pattern once per each chord. And that's basically how I played, oops, that's basically how I played this song. I'm going to have a tab down below, um, hopefully pinned in the comment section. So make sure you check that out. It's going to have the chords and then how many times to play each of the chords, like how many times to do the strong pattern for each of the chords. So it's definitely going to be helpful. Um, yeah, hope you have a good one and hope that you learned something new. See you in my next video. Electrify my heart. Ooh.